Thank you again for worshiping with us uh, this Sunday. We're going to close with a time of prayer and then the Lord's Prayer, and I'll close with a benediction. Gracious God, we thank you for your faithfulness, your patience, and your plan for a good harvest. Sow the seeds of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our hearts, seeds of love, joy, peace and patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. Let these grow and flourish in each one of us, that we might bless others and give honor to your name. Lord, we pray for Jordan as she prepares to set out for the next chapter of her life. Thank you for her faithful service to the people and families of faith. Guide, protect, and bless her, God. May she continue to grow more and more deeply rooted in your love. O oh God, in the midst of the pandemic, we pray for our president, our governors and mayors, health care professionals and providers, COVID victims and their families. We pray especially for schools, teachers, and administrators as they seek to determine safe and comprehensive schooling and care for our children. We pray also for Faith Lutheran Church, for churches and faith communities everywhere, that we can use this time in the wilderness, this wilderness season, to learn to trust your provision, O oh God, and that we might emerge from this pandemic a more loving community a more compassionate people, a more faithful witness. And for those in our congregation who are grieving, those who are hurting, facing hospitalizations and other therapies, Lord, we especially lift up John Butler and John Torvik, Louise Johnson, Burt Woods, and Mark Hill. All these things we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.